Hi, welcome to In the Studio with Kate. It's week 39. And as I started to get ready to make this recording, I looked and I thought, oh, this is kind of like a metaphor or something, a sign. My messy hair, wearing two pairs of glasses at the same time. Kind of feels what that week, this week has felt like. Um, busy, busy, busy. I haven't done any art. Um, couple pencil marks, that's been about it. Um, we're getting ready to go on a trip tomorrow. Um, so I don't know about your husband, when we're getting ready for a trip, my husband goes crazy and it's just, you know, not so. <laughs> Anyways, um, um, I kind of think of the two glasses as being, oh, too many hats. I got too many hats on this week. Um, I started a um, online tapestry weaving class. So I've been absorbed with that, um, trying to get the loom adjusted and ready and figuring out where I can get the, I have to get a different kind of warp, who I can order it from. It seems to be sold out most places. Finally found one place that we might be able to get it from. But you know, all that impetus, I wanted to really actually get it warped because next week, um, my guild is having a studio tour kind of thing. They go, they go to two weavers houses once a month. And so this is the, um, the next week they're coming to my house. So I thought, oh, it'd be great if I could have that. You process warped on the loom, but no, that didn't work out. So I had to give up on that and um, just run out of time. So it's kind of like one of those weeks where you're doing a lot of things, but you've got nothing to show for it. And I know <laughs> everyone has them. Um, this is in particular, um, seems, seems like I usually don't have too many weeks like that. Um, I did over this past weekend do the creative retreat, the free retreat that Gale Alina um, puts on. And I really only did any, I did some sketching from one of them and it was all in contour drawing. Um, like this one's a blind contour, so you don't even look at the page. Um, this one was, I'm trying to remember which one it was. Uh, well, you don't lift the pencil off the paper, okay? And I truly really tried to rush it, so I didn't do a very good job on it, in my opinion. But uh, the first one I did is about getting all the shapes. And I like the way this one turned out because you really could see the shapes of the shadows. Um, so I could see where you could take something like that and then go for it, start painting it. And you know where things need to be. So I actually really enjoyed that session. Took a couple other sessions, which I took a lot of notes for. I haven't done any work with them. But the retreat is always fun. Um, so that's about the only, I guess I have done a little bit of art, but that was like Sunday. So it doesn't seem like it's part of the week. And then I'm recording this a day early. So got a shortened week in a sense. Um, I guess... The, what I'm trying to say is if you're having a week like this, just, you know, kind of go with the flow and figure out it's going to pass and you're going to get back to your groove. I know this evening my art journaling group meets, so we're going to meet in a park. So we'll probably do some sketching and some stuff then, but um, I don't have that, you know, right now to actually share anything with you about it. But um so I hope if you find yourself stuck in a rut like this, where you're not getting to your work, um, my, uh, my advice usually is just kind of work on through it or really start looking at your priorities. And right now my priorities haven't been art. They've been really been this tapestry thing and there's nothing to show for it. So uh, it feels like I haven't done anything. <laughs> But, and then take it a trip, you know, I just have to give myself a little bit of a, a break, but I tend to not want to do that. I tend to want to just, you know, lament why am I not doing something I want to do so much. And sometimes that lament takes you down a different road and you realize that, oh, 
I'm not doing it because I'm doing all these other things. And if I really want to do it, I have to let something go or make it the main focus. I mean, I was going to do some of this morning, but then it's getting hot and I want to be exercising. So to take my dog out, I need to do it in the morning because 90 degree weather is just too hot for me to take a walk. So that's been the priority is to get out in the morning. And then that's the time I might've done more art. So it's like, take a look at your schedule. You might need to shift things around. You might need to decide like um, that I'm going to have this certain, certain time of my day and it's going to be when I do my art. It's just going to be different. So kind of we get kind of get in these rhythms. And I think that sometimes they're not working so well anymore. So that's, I think that's what I'm finding. I'm finding I don't get into the studio um, because I'm off doing other things. And I do want to do those other things too. So um, it's just a little difficult sometimes. So. Um, and I'm going to a folk festival um, this weekend, get to hear a lot of wonderful music. I'm hoping to take my sketchbook. Usually when I do, I, I'm so into the music that I want to draw. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and make that effort to, you know, draw some of the bands or something and um, have a good time. But anyways, I will. Um, I'll be back next week with hopefully something <laughs> more interesting to talk about. Um, some art to share. Um, ideas, maybe some more on creativity or how it's going for me. Um, if you're out making things in your studio, I'd love to hear about them. Leave me a comment so I can go look and your link. And um, until next week, let's make art.